whether or not cell phones inhibit sperm health and or testosterone level. Now there is an extensive meta-analysis. It very convincingly shows that keeping the cell phone in one's pocket, and it does not matter if it's on Wi-Fi or you're using cellular, decreases sperm quality, which means forward motility, number of healthy sperm per ejaculate, et cetera, even ejaculate volume, and lowers testosterone overall. Not surprising given the known heat effects of the phone. Heat is part of the problem of the cell phone, but it yeah. turns out, yes, and here people are gonna think I'm a like, crazy person, but they might think that already. The EMFs, that business is real. Yeah. Now, is it so real that it's giving us gliomas? Unclear. I'm not gonna go there, the data aren't in, but it is very clear that the radiation from phones, the EMFs, and the heat are combining to reduce sperm quality, motility, and overall testosterone. So it's a simple thing. Turn off your phone completely, or even better, just don't put it in your front pocket. If you have to put it in a pocket, put it in your back pocket. If you, even better would be to put it in a shoulder pocket or a backpack. And I don't like keeping the phone to the, my head too long. We don't know very much about the effects of EMS and heat effects on the different tissues of the body, but we now know a lot about the effects of heat and EMFs on sperm quality, and it's not a good picture for the sperm. Where does airplane mode fit into this equation? Does it prevent or mitigate some of the effects? It uh, seems to. Yeah. It seems to. Here's what's really scary about this meta-analysis. Their conclusion is that the threshold beyond which you start seeing these damaging effects is pretty low. And so it's pretty straightforward. You know, don't keep the phone in your front pocket if you're concerned with sperm health and, yeah. and testosterone production. 